Hi, my name is Andre O'Brien, uh, owner um, of Anakali Vision and Design, and this is the Talk Designer Assistant for Poser 8 Hero 4 tutorial. Hero 4 is a uh, morph set for the very popular Michael 4 um, base character from Dash Studio, uh, Dash 3D, I'm sorry, I keep calling him Dash Studio, uh, from Dash 3D. Um, and in order to get Hero 4 to become uh, compatible with um, Poser 8's uh, Talk Designer, uh, we're going to have to do a little uh, setup first. Um, I know you're usually accustomed to just going to your uh, figure uh, library and just clicking on the Hero 4 uh, icon. But um, like I said, we have to set the character up first before we can use. Uh, uh, we have to set the character up first before we can use him. So the first thing I'm going to want you to do is to select uh, Michael 4 and bring Michael 4 into your scene. Okay, we have our very popular, very friendly Michael 4. Uh, I generally like to look at the face uh, first because we're, we, right now we want to uh, add the blink morph. Um, if you've looked at any of the other tutorials, um, in order to get uh, your character blinking, we have to create a whole new morph um, called blink. The talk designer is looking for one blink, uh, one morph named blink that controls both eyes and the Michael 4 character and a hero as well uses two uh, individual morphs to control each eye uh, separately okay the next step is to go to your uh, to go to your pose library and go to hero and we're going to add um, we're going to add those morphs if I can find it um, excuse me we're going to add or inject Michael 4 with uh, the Hero 4 morphs, okay? After we've injected Michael 4 with those morphs, uh, we need to go to the head, make sure that the head is selected, and we're going to go to Morph Shapes. Go to Morph Shapes, and then we select uh, Hero. I'm sorry, not Morph Shapes. We go to Morph Expressions, and then we're going to select Hero 4, and then we're going to scroll down and find the Blink Curve L, and set that to one and we're going to find the blink curve R and set that to one now you'll notice off the bat that the eyelid is, uh, looks really bad it's kind of coming through the, uh, the flesh there um, but that's fine um, the morph is uh, overcompensating based off of the Michael shape the Michael base uh, morph shape but these eye these eyelid uh, morphs were, were based off of the hero shape and once we apply that hero shape uh, uh, in a few moments um, that blink will become um, very natural. Um, so right now we're going to uh, go to object and then spawn morph target. We're going to name this morph target blink. Hit enter. And now we can reset the blink curve L and the blink curve R morphs. Okay. Um, our next step will be to uh, we're going to want to remove this uh, the Michael for uh, textures. So you'll go to your uh, materials um, SMPL res folder and make Michael mapless. All right, our next step will be to run the uh, Talk Designer Assistant script. Of course, if you read in those morphs, uh, none of those uh, none of the uh, Visine morphs will be recognizable recognizable initially. So we'll go to edit and then DAS uh, M4 V4 and hit step one. Step one creates the uh, morphs that Talk Designer Assistant um, will be able to read uh, for this uh, for this particular animation. Um, we click the read morphs and the morphs are set. Um, we click on assist to create the Visine map. Um, Visine, if, if you heard in any of my other uh, tutorials, um, I was saying Visime, or I was mispronouncing, I was uh, uh, pronouncing it wrong, and I, I apologize for that. I've since been corrected. It's Visine map. Uh, so now our morphs are uh, set, and Michael is almost ready to talk. We click on the Talk Designer. We uh, choose a sound file. We make sure that of uh, the Michael Visine map, Michael Four Visine map is selected, and we apply this to our animation. If we run through this animation, we'll see that the lips move. 
Um, but what's more important here to note is that the eyelid. There we go. The eyelid is going to come through, and that blink is just not natural. But again, we'll fix that in a second. Okay, now that we have our animation, we're going to go back to the Talk Designer Assistant and hit the step two. And step two, adjust the uh, lower jaw on the tongue um, for every frame. And now our character mouth is moving appropriately that's good um, at this point the talk designer assistant is done and now we need to set the hero character so that he has the uh, look that we're uh, that we want so we go back to morphs shapes hero 4 set hero 4 to 1 uh, as a matter of fact before we do that we set hero 4 to 0 let's apply um, heroes on material first we apply a material and now let's go to hero four, set him to one. And if we run through this animation, we'll note that the mouth is moving appropriately, but also the blink, it's gonna blink, there we go. Whereas before the eyes were going through, now you see that the blink is very natural, very realistic. Uh, now we need to go to the body, go to shapes, go to hero four and set the body to one and we take a zoom out and we can see that the body is now set for the animation and just like that hero 4 is now talking and he cometh unto his and disciples right. let's take a listen and findeth them asleep and saith unto Peter and he cometh unto his disciples <laughs> pretty cool now your character is ready for you to add on whatever uh, clothing or whatever uh, textures you want to add on and um, everything like that keep in mind when you create that blink you have to add uh, the left and the right you got to go to expressions and and, uh, and set that blink uh, curve L and blink curve R but just in case let's say you wanted to use a different character other than the hero for let's say you wanted American one or stylized you're going to want to make sure to set that American one or stylized to one because if you notice, if we take hero off, but we uh, set, let's say, realistic to one, the blink is not going to work perfectly because the blink is set to work with hero four. So keep that in mind. When you create, a, um, if you wanted to use, say, the American one in your scene, then you need to set um, the American one and the blink L, blink R uh, morphs. Um, before you add your blink, set those to one, and um, all those morphs will combine um, to give you an, an accurate blink at the end. Um, I hope that this tutorial has been helpful. Uh, my name is Andre O'Brien, and this has been the Talk Designer System Proposer 8 Hero 4 tutorial. Thank you very much. Take care. And he cometh unto his disciples, and findeth them asleep, and saith unto Peter,